What's going on everybody? It's your boy. I'm looking at What's up peoples? I'm behind on my videos. I'm going to continuously keep posting my videos, but as of right now I'm going to record the moments and then later on if I want to make the video, make the video. Even if I am behind, I'm still going to post this video. So, I thought I'd tune you guys in a little bit. I've been really grinding on my paintings lately as well as my drawings and my side projects that I have going on um, outside of work and everything like that. So, I'm still working. Still doing my paintings and still doing my side things, as well as hanging out with my family, hanging out with my girlfriend, you know, really uh, balancing my life. Um, there really is no set way to how to balance it, it's just just doing it, you know. I don't really have a schedule of who I hang out with next or what I'm going to do next, it's just whatever I feel that day, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But regardless, all these things I need to do. So I thought I'd tune you guys in on one special project that I did on the side. So I don't know if you guys know, but Cash is the newest bulldog we just recently got. Uh, my stepmom and dad, uh, they adopted him from a bulldog rescue page. So this bulldog rescue page, it, it gets all kinds of bulldogs. Um, people that just don't want them no more, bulldogs that aren't taken care of. Um, people that are, you know, some people have bulldogs and they can't afford the medical bills that it comes with because they broke a bone or they tore a muscle or they have really bad allergies and they don't know what to do. Like, so people just give these dogs to the um, the rescue clubs, and um, these these rescue clubs come out of their pocket and pay for anything that the dog needs, whether if it's medicine, treatment, um, anything, anything that has to do with the dog, in order to get it back to where it really needs to be as far as health and just appearance and every single thing they'll do above and beyond for it and like I said they'll come out of pocket out of their their rescue club and pay for all of it itself it's a really awesome place to put donations and anything like that of that sort because I personally have a bulldog so I know how much attention they need how much love they need and um, so like I said moral of the story I thought I'd do my part and try to donate or do something to contribute to where I can help out with the donations. Um, I didn't know how to do it, but yet, and my stepmom came up with a really good solution that, so I painted my bulldog, and as a gift for this fundraiser, so let me get, let me, this club is starting a fundraiser. Every now and then, they'll do a fundraiser and they'll sell small things doesn't matter what it is it's stuff that people have donated that way when they try to sell it and auction everything off whatever they make from this they keep it and they use towards the dogs so all this stuff that these people are buying whether if it's new or used it's not a matter of the money because every single dollar that you put into this uh, rescue club goes towards the dogs so last week maria came up with the best solution on how I can contribute to this. Here goes all the listings of everything that they they put on there um, selling. So people are auctioning off. So like this chair, they're telling the, the description. People started off bidding, let's see, 75 bucks, then it went to 80 bucks, then it went to 85, then it went to 100, 125, 130, 140, 150. So now that person that bid 150 bucks is now the winner because the auction's already over. This already happened. I wanted to tune you guys in after it's already happened because I, I didn't know what what it could do. So that sold for 100 bucks. So you keep going. And by the way, this place is called Lone Star Bulldog Club Rescue. So that's where you can you know donate a dog or don't not donate a dog, but uh, you can donate a dog if you know if you don't want to take care of it. But whatever, you should take care of it anyways. But anyways, this is where they come to um, to get their dogs for, for adoption. Anything like that with bulldogs. So check it out. You go down. And boom. Check it out. It's your boy. So you click on this, right? Read that. So they gave him this one. That's what the original photo was. And that's what I made it to. So let's check out how the biddings went. I already know, but it's so awesome. I wanna share it with you guys. Cause it's so awesome what my artwork can do. So the bid started off at a hundred bucks. 
immediately after went to 200 bucks. Immediately after that, that was 250. After that, it was 300 bucks. This is a, the Lone Star Club. And then went to 325, 375, and it went to 400. This lady's commented multiple times. So now we're at 400. Now we're at 450. A couple hours later, another 500 bucks. Not another, but 500 bucks is now the highest bidder. That's so awesome. And it went to 525, 550. At this point, I'm just like, wow, 600 bucks. Then it keeps going, 675. And this Lone Star page is loving it. <laughs> 675 is the highest bidder. $700. This girl takes the lead again. And then to finish it off. And then right before the date, the deadline ended, somebody commented, 725. <laughs> That is so awesome. And once again, that lady didn't call me no more, but 725 is the highest bidder for this piece. $725 that somebody is paying for my piece, not technically paying for my piece, but it helped contribute that $725 to this, this, this club. And I mean, that's from nowhere, you know? Even if I'm not personally handing it out, I'm giving some time to something that I that means something to me. And it's, it's rewarding them. How awesome is that? Like, dude, that's so sick. Like, I didn't know how it was gonna do. I would have never thought it was, I, I didn't know what to expect. I'm not gonna say I would have never thought, but I just didn't know what to expect. So they're gonna get back to us and um, they're gonna send me the photo. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. It's a, it's a pretty small canvas. It's about that size, which is like these that I normally do. You know, that one over there, that, that one, and another one. I just put it over there because it fell off the wall. But um, dude, it's gonna be awesome. I have this one that I'm painting right now in the back. I should be done with it. If not today, tomorrow. And then uh, I got a list of things. I got, I got people hitting me up. Business is going well. It's um, it's a challenge, but I'm always up for a challenge, man. I'm never gonna, you know, I'm never gonna say no. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna give them 110. percent Doesn't matter if I can't do it. If I've never done it before, all these things I've never done before. And um, I truly appreciate all the all the help and all the support and everything that I've been getting for a bunch from a bunch of people, whether your friends, family, or not. These people are completely strangers, but. They're contributing to me and to the foundation. That's that's awesome, man. I, there's no there's no amount of money that can pay for something like this. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. So um, yeah, just be sure to stay tuned and um, check in with you guys later. Peace.